What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today I've got this smart scale that I wanted to go ahead and unbox and just give a quick review here because this is something that I'm really interested in. I love smart appliances, smart gadgets, and that's what this smart scale is here. So this is a smart scale by Renfo. Now the reason this smart scale is cool is because obviously it's a smart scale. Now you can use this as a dumb scale, but you can link it to your Android phone and connect it to Google Fit or you can connect it to your Fitbit account and store all your measurements in those apps as well. Now this is cool for someone who wants more than body weight. You want things like how much water is stored in your body, your fat percentages, your body mass index, all those kind of things that are measured by bioimpedance through this scale. So this is really next level stuff here. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the Renfo Smart Scale unboxing. And this is going to be pretty simple. We just have the Renfo Smart Scale on the top here with a nice glossy finish and some silver accents. And it seems that the silver accents are used to measure the bio impedance, uh, different aspects of your body to get all the different measurements. So you can see what else is in here. We've just got some instruction manuals and we've got three AAA batteries. Now the batteries are going to go in the back here. There is an access door right on the back. It just slides open, no tools are required. Okay, so in order to use the smart scale with your Android phone, you do have to set up an account in the Renfo app. Now, after you set up the account, which is very easy to do, only takes a few minutes, then you wanna create a profile. Now, as you can see, we're on my profile, but I wanna show you what it's like to create one. So we're gonna do this for my dog because I like to keep track of his measurement too. And I know we won't be able to do the bio impedance because he won't sit still, but it'll be cool to keep track of his weight. So we're gonna go ahead and click on my account and then we're gonna click on add a member and then add measurement user. Now, if we wanted to, we could add a picture. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. And uh, obviously he looks really bored right now. We can go ahead and crop this if we wanted to, but we're gonna leave it just like this. And I may take another picture later because this one's not that great. And as you see, we've got the image there and we're gonna click male because he is a male and we'll put his name in here and then we'll put his birthday. Okay, so we got December 2014 and we're gonna hit the 14th there. And obviously height's not really gonna matter here. Uh, and that's probably more for the bio impedance there. And then we'll do athlete mode because he is fairly active. And I'm not sure how this works too well for a dog, but we're going to confirm this. Now you're gonna see we have the invalid height here. So we're going to have to add the height in here. Now you can see this takes a little bit of time here. We're adding a new member to the scale. And as you see, we have no statistics. We have to go ahead and weigh them. Now we've got the batteries in the smart scale already. And I do want to say, if you don't want to use this as a smart scale, you can use it by just stepping on it and it will work as a dumb scale. This does not need to be connected to your Android smartphone at all. Now, if you do want to use the bio impedance feature, it is important that you do have your socks off because that's how the bio impedance is measured. It's measured through your bare skin. Okay, so I want to go ahead and show how the bio impedance feature works here. So we're gonna step on the scale and we're going to get our initial weight here. And this will just take a moment. And then we're gonna get the bio impedance specs. As you can see, it scroll through here. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and scroll down the page and just get a little bit more information about all the other features that we were able to see through the bio impedance. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about are the added features in the app once you're using the scale. And again, here we are at the main screens, just showing my weight and my statistics from the bio impedance. But we can go ahead and actually see a chart here of a trend and you can see how my weight is progressing. I'm trying to gain weight, add more muscle to my frame. And this is really cool to be able to see that. But we also have a whole lot of other statistics. We've got things like BMI, body fat, fat-free body weight, subcuteness, fat, hopefully I said that right, viscero fat, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, BMR, metabolic age. So a lot of really cool statistics that are being measured 
through the silver circles here through bioimpedance to get all that information. Now all this can be checked out by week, month, or year. Now obviously I haven't been using it long enough for a year, but have I been using it long enough for a month? It looks like I may have. Now this is really cool to see too, because you can see when your weight has gone up and when it has dipped, and it helps you with your dietary goals. So for me, I could tell that around the middle of the graph here, I started slacking on the eating, and then I started getting back into it. So when I was doing really good, I was getting really close to my goals. Now, if we go into settings here, we can also check out different things such as the themes, and this will just change the color of the background. You can see that we have quite a few colors to change to if we would like. We can also set goals. So as you see, I set a goal of 200, but you can adjust this as needed. You can also set a goal for your body fat. You go lower or higher, depending on what that goal is. Then you've got weight unit. That could be adjusted depending on your location, if you count in pounds or kilograms. And if you don't like the sound that your phone gives from the bio impedance measurements, you can go ahead and turn that off. Might be annoying to some people. Now the cool thing about this smart scale is that it does link to your Google Fit account, but you can also link it to a Fitbit. Now I don't have one of those, so I don't know exactly how this works, but it's pretty cool if you do have a Fitbit as well. And as we go on here, you can also set reminders to take your measurements on the scale by clicking on measurement reminders. Now you can go ahead and also change the times by clicking on the time itself and changing that depending on when would be the best time in your schedule to take your measurements. And then you've got sliders here. You can just turn all of these on if you like. And then we can also just turn them off. Now, if you do wanna lock the app, you can do that as well by creating a locked password. Is it really necessary? Your phone will probably be locked anyways when you're not using it. So you don't need a lock for your phone and then a lock to get inside the app unless you wanna be extra secure. Then there are some video tutorials, a customer service hotline, languages. You could choose a different language so that the app shows up in that language. And then we've just got extra options as we go down through the menu here. So to sum this all up, I'm really happy with this device. It was under $30 and it gives you a lot of information. It's really easy to set up and it works with Google Fit. Now the scale is really easy to pair with your Android device. It only took me a few minutes. In fact, I don't even know how I set it up. I accidentally set it up. That's how easy it was. I just found it in the phone. It was already linked. I don't know if I actually went through proper steps. Again, it was just in there and I was ready to use it. The one thing I was worried because this was under $30 is how fast do the results transfer from the scale to the Android smartphone. And it did work really, really well. It continues to work really well, which that's very impressive. I love this scale because it gives me more than just what I weigh. It gives me all the other statistics through the bio impedance feature. Now, not only do we have all the cool statistics, but we got all the cool graphs, which is something that's really good to see for someone who's in the fitness and you wanna see how you progress as weeks and months go by. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in my Amazon storefront and I'm gonna provide the link to my Amazon storefront in the description below. And if you buy this device or anything that I have in my Amazon storefront, it does support the channel. So that's one way you can help me create better videos. Now, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. You can also support the channel by sharing this video with someone who might be interested in this stuff. And last but not least, you can also support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. That'll help people see that the channel is getting more subscribers and it'll just show that this is a really good channel. So until next time, Leon, check in out.